Hi guys, welcome to the channel of love. Okay, today I'm going to spend some time individually with the star signs. I'm actually going to do you an autumn ascension reading. Not using many cards and it's not going to be a, a long message. Um, okay, we're using the sacred spirit reading cards. I was just drawn really to the beauty of these cards. And then we're going to use the sacred destiny cards okay and then I actually feel drawn the final card um, that I will be uh, using or the final cards are the lovers oracle let me just see if I can find where they are there they are Okay, <clears throat> so what we're going to do first of all is start off with a little story from the Sacred Destiny Oracle, then we'll have a look at your Sacred Spirit and um, see what the message is through that card and then we'll go back to the Sacred Destiny and find out what the secret landscape wants you to know. And then we shall end with the uh, lovers oracle, okay, which are here. Right then, that's the plan, okay. Let's have a look and see what's going on this autumn time. That's three months, guys. This isn't a reading that's just, you know, good for a week or a day. This is for you to uh, be aware of, of what's occurring with you um, over the next three months, over the season of autumn. Okay. Right. Let's start off with Aries. I shall timestamp in the description box <clears throat> for you guys. Okay. Sacred Destiny. Let's have a look at the card. And we should read the story. Aries. Blessings. I might be able to pull it down so you can see the card. Okay, it's time for a little story. In many ancient cultures, it was believed that there were some springs that were holy. Gods and goddesses were thought to reside in or near these special places, and they were revered. Greek mythology is replete with stories of these special places. Many of the Christian hallowed altar sources, such as the Chalice Well, were used for sacred purposes long before Christianity rose to prominence. These kinds of springs were thought to be healing waters where blessings were bestowed by mystical beings. Okay, well let's have a look Aries at what your sacred spirit would like to tell you. Ground your light. Card number 18. Let your soul shine. Shine your light on the world, let your soul shine. The method of grounding our energy bodies, auric fields and consciousness is to solidify our being in the present. 
Through the grounding process, our emotional, physical and spiritual bodies become unified, bringing balance and well-being to our soul and spirit. While this practice can be challenging, it is important for you to remember that you are influenced energetically by your environment. Grounding anchors your energetic fields and connects you to your emotional body while being present and mindful within those moments. Strengthening your aura and emotional and physical body is the primary goal of mindfulness as we feel everything that we experience through this energetic space. You are doing yourself a disservice if you refuse to honour your own shining light. Embrace the inner spark that sets you apart from everyone else. Claim and accept who you are as an individual so you can thrive in life. Embrace yourself with this new confidence. Currently you may be feeling sluggish, unmotivated and energetically flat. Your energy is distributed across different areas across different areas of interest and therefore is making you weaker. Pay close attention to how your body reacts around certain people, places and situations. It is up to you to develop healthy personal and physical boundaries. Right now you need to ground your own light, come back to your heart space and centre yourself in the present moment. Make yourself consciously aware of your breathing. Is it slow? Is it fast? Is it intermittent? Integrate your physical space, your physical body, with positive charge by grounding your new and current experiences with breath work. Bringing in new light, bringing in new light energy through your crown and anchoring your sacred self through your earth chakras will assist the grounding process. More importantly, never give power to anyone to dim your light. You are a lighthouse and deserve to shine your light across the night. Okay, your shadow aspect is shyness, people pleaser, self-sacrifice. And here is your affirmation. I anchor and ground my divine light in my heart. I am free. Okay, repeat it with me. I anchor and ground my divine light in my heart. I am free. There's your affirmation for this autumn. One more time. I anchor and ground my divine light in my heart. I am free. Let's move back to the sacred destiny card with the blessings here and see what the secret landscape would like you to know. Immense blessings are emerging into your life from those in spirit. Angels, guides and spirit guardians are watching over you. Angelic intervention is available to you. Be open to the voice of the divine. Messages are all around you. You are protected. You are safe. Have faith that your path is guided. Watch for, si watch for signs that spiritual beings are present. Profound healing energy is flowing to you in wondrous ways. Refreshing, replenishing energy is filling your life. That's what's going on with you this autumn, Aries. Let's finish with a lover's oracle. Passion, a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. Don't give anyone the power to dim your light, Aries. Okay. Taurus.
let's have a look at the Sacred Destiny Oracle and see what story they would like to tell you. Flexibility, Taurus. And in walks Jasper. <laughs> And Aries, if you would like to know what your sacred crystal was, it was a red jasper, if by chance you are still watching. Okay, Taurus, flexibility. I only said that because there's a tiger there. <laughs> bamboo in wind. The symbolism of bamboo runs deep. Whereas many larger, seemingly stronger trees will break in high winds, Bamboo simply bends and sways. Its flexibility allows it to survive and even thrive while other species suffer. Even during a hard winter, when its, bran when its branches are laden with snow, bamboo doesn't break. It snaps back when the snow melts in the spring. It also has a strong root system so that even during great storms it survives. Additionally, it is often a symbol of abundance because its rapid growth, because of its rapid growth. Its upward, verdant, constant growth is used as a metaphor for the fulfilling rise of prosperity. Now Taurus, I am a Taurus and I had the message come through earlier about how um, you can really relax until springtime. There's not really going to be any movement uh, for a couple of seasons for two of us. Um, that's all you need to know. Okay, let's have a look and see what the sacred, the secret spirit, the sacred spirit would like to tell you. Can we have a card for two of us, please? The Celestial Gatekeeper. Now, this came out in today's uh, main reading, the Celestial Gatekeeper. Card number seven. This is a card that inspired me to do this reading. Okay. Clear your focus. Timing is critical. And I feel that it's important that you know to all this, that it's, okay, you've got, autumn and winter, okay, to um, to be with yourself. And I feel that it's, it's critical, it's crucial that you know that so that you can just relax and rest. So clear your focus, timing is critical. The eagle is considered a sacred animal in many cultures, unafraid of confrontation, the resilience and unshakable confidence and courage that eagles demonstrate ensure their presence is felt. I was talking about the bamboo here, the strength of the bamboo, the flexibility. Their commanding and majestic presence, soaring high above the land below, demands your respect when you reside or walk within it. Flying in between the realms of earth and spirit, these majestic animals are celestial gatekeepers, transporting spiritual communication, between the heavenly gateways. Eagles have always been closely associated with God or a spiritual higher power. The Aztecs, Sumerians, Romans, Egyptians and Native Americans all viewed the eagle as a sacred bird that empowered the people below them. Many ancient and modern cultures adopt the eagle as their spiritual icon. The freedom and wisdom these majestic birds represent are inspiring. These predatory birds rely upon their vision and ability to read wind currents to survive in their natural habitats. The sacred relationship between the Mongols and the, e and the Golden Eagle signify the power and respect these beautiful eagles represent and are considered more valuable than human relationships as they depend upon them for their own survival in the Siberian wilderness. Right now, 
you require a clear focus of what is ahead of you. Your timing is critical. While you may have a sense of urgency, it is important not to rush. Think about the issue or circumstances carefully before you act. Ensure you have planned your forward process. All decision making needs to be carefully considered before you jump in prematurely. Make sure you have all the facts in front of you. Eagles are deeply connected to the celestial realm as you are. Be aware of the eagles' subtle messages as they are encouraging you to raise and elevate your vibration to build a divine relationship, a celestial pathway with a higher source. Pay attention to dense or lower energies so you can learn how this interaction affects your personal energy. Taurus, your shadow aspect, dismissive, disrespectful and procrastinator. Your affirmation, I resonate with divine order. My soul is activated to the highest vibration. Let's say it again. I resonate with divine order. My soul is activated to the highest vibration. One more time. I resonate with divine order. My soul is activated to the highest vibration. Let's have a look and see what the secret landscape, the secret landscape, <laughs> the sacred landscape wants you to know. Let's go back to the flexibility card. The meaning of this card is rich and varied. It cautions you to be flexible in your life. Be willing to bend and yield. There are times to stand strong, but there are also times to go around a situation rather than face it head on. This card suggests being amendable to change. It is also a fantastic card for abundance and prosperity. And it suggests that if you are flexible, prosperity can and will come your way in all areas. Additionally, it suggests that a time of rapid growth is ahead. Don't resist it. The time is right for this surge of spiritual growth to occur. And I feel that time is going to be... Um, well, I feel your spiritual growth will occur now, but the rapid growth in the physical will be in the springtime. Okay. Let's end with... The Lover's Oracle, and we have uh, three cards that have come out. I think it might be more than that. But... Okay. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Okay. Surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. It's your season to surrender, Taurus. Trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Beautiful message here. Okay, Taurus, there it is. Gemini. Let's have a look at the um, Sacred Destiny card, see what story wants to come out for Gemini for this autumn. Courage. It's a 
beautiful card. It caught my attention. Maybe your courage is going to catch somebody's attention. Let's listen to the story. Rocky Seashore. The waves crash again and again on the rugged, rocked shore. And yet these ancient rocks face each storm with strength and fortitude. They are strong beyond measure. When the waves are gentle, they stand strong. And when the great storms arrive, they remain strong. They never falter. This card signifies that an enduring, everlasting, passionate courage in the depth of your being is arising. There is nothing that you can't confront and face. You are a warrior of light. How beautiful. I told you that was a beautiful card. Let's have a look and see what your sacred landscape would like you to know. Sacred landscape, okay, I meant your, your sacred spirit. <laughs> We're dreaming, I believe. We've got hidden realms here, card number 20. Create conscious awareness. It took me to the landscape with you having vision now. Anyway, hidden realms. Create conscious awareness. Card number 20. Create conscious awareness, analyse your dream cycles. Traditionally, shamans are the gatekeepers to the hidden realms of ancient wisdom and magic. Assessing the hidden realms for further meaning and insight into a soul's pain or an individual's dis-ease. Using conscious communication, the shaman works to bridge the realms between humanity and and creation. Communicating with the elementals, nature, animal realms, ancestors, angelic forces and spiritual beings that serve humanity as guardians, guides, teachers and masters and more is the role of the shaman. These ancient practices have been developed and refined across time with shamans, seers, visionaries serving their communities as mediators between the human experience and the world of nature. Restoring power to those who have experienced disempowerment or physical experience, shamanic practitioners reconnect the aspects of the soul that have been lost through trauma or life experiences. Right now, you are being asked to connect to the hidden realms, expand, expanding your consciousness, to open your mind wide and reconnect with your soul for deep healing and transformation. There is much to be learned from the hidden realms that can assist you in your waking life. Examine your dream cycles and interpret your subconscious messages. Creating conscious awareness will allow you to actively connect to your universal guardians the elements and celestial realm. Like any learned skill, practice will improve the strength of your connection. Pay attention to any symbols, animals or, vi or visual images that appear in your life now, as there is deep meaning that applies to you. As there is deep meaning that applies to you. Okay, what's your shadow aspect, Gemini? Social disconnection daydreaming, codependency. Okay, your affirmation for this autumn, I am a clear and successful mediator of consciousness, divine communication. Let's say it again. I am a clear and successful mediator of conscious divine communication. One last time. I am a close, I am a close, <laughs> I am a clear and successful mediator of conscious divine communication. There you go. Let's see what this, the sacred landscape would like you to know, Gemini. Step forward, throw your shoulders back and stand up for yourself with passion. Speak up for those less fortunate. Be impeccable in all your actions. This isn't the time to be timid and pull back. Don't be limited by the beliefs of others. 
Use your passion to make a difference. Courage doesn't mean that you aren't afraid. Fearless means fear less. Acknowledge your fear and take action anyway. Make a stand. You are strong and powerful and have great valour within you. Okay, Gemini, let's finish with a lover's oracle. Beware of what you are projecting, for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. There's your reading, Gemini. Cancer. Let's have a look at your sacred destiny and what story would like to be told to you for this autumn. <clears throat> you have fulfillment. Laden peach tree. The peach tree blooms early and because of this it is often a symbol of spring and the renewal of life. It is also the Chinese symbol of a happy marriage and of fertility. In some traditions it stands for immortality. Ripe peaches also pretend fertility. I don't know how you say this word. Fecundity and great fulfillment. In Korean traditions, the peach represents happiness, riches, honours, and longevity. In the Renaissance, peaches represented the heart and love and speaking the truth from one's heart. Well, I want to Google this word because I want to see how you pronounce it and understand what the word means. Okay. Okay. Fecundity. Fecundity. The ability to produce an abundance of offspring or new growth. Fertility. Multiply mated females show increased fecundity. Fecundity. Well, are we going to. It didn't sound like it had a fee in front then. Fecundity. <laughs> Does she sound fecundity? Fecundity. <laughs> All right, fecundity. <laughs> fecundity. The ability to produce many new, it new items, new ideals, new, new ideas, it says here. Okay, what's going on with you, Cancer? The ability to produce many new ideas, the immense fecundity of his imagination made a profound impact on European literature. Okay, fecundity. Can we get back to the story? We're going to start again. Cancer, laden peach tree. The peach tree blooms early and because of this it is often a symbol of spring and the renewal of life. It is also the Chinese symbol of a happy marriage and of fertility. In some traditions it stands for immortality. Ripe peaches also pretend fertility, fecundity and great fulfilment. In Korean traditions, the peach represents happiness, riches, honours and longevity. In the Renaissance, peaches represented the heart and love and speaking the truth 
from one's heart. Let's have a look and see what your sacred spirit would like to tell you. Birth of creation, potential growth. So there's definitely something that's being born here. I'm having a feeling of a baby, an actual pregnancy here. Uh, over the autumn, winter months, and um, with the birth, it spoke about springtime. Okay, well, we have card number six here. Potential growth, a fresh start. Since ancient times, the egg has been a symbol of the universe, creation and life itself. It's symbolic of the holy resurrection and trinity, the seed of potential life and luck and wisdom. And there's this energy of actually wanting this birth. Um, it fulfills you. There's a happy marriage here. And it feels like there's a, a baby as well. A baby's on the way. Okay. A representation of womanhood and fertility, eggs need incubation, <clears throat> incubation, and serve as protection for the growing life within. And I feel that this, uh, it spoke about blooming early, and I feel that this pregnancy is going to be visible. Okay. So someone's showing, uh, maybe earlier than what was expected. So a representation of womanhood and fertility, eggs need incubation and serve as protection for the growing life within, a gathering of energy, a combination of light and shadow, yin and yang, all meeting in one sacred space, evolving and growing at a rate invisible to the outside world. Like any egg, life can be fragile. Given a sustainable environment, Life emerges, cracking and opening its protective layer to witness the outside world. You are also a product of your environment. Everything that is around you is destined to evolve, change and develop as you grow physically. These environmental influences form a part of your conscious actions as you adapt to the world around you. Spending time with other people can influence your behaviour, behavior, character, thoughts and beliefs. Positive or negative, their energy integrates with yours and can affect your choices. Spend more time with people that ignite the fire in your soul rather than those that hold you back from success. Right now your spirit is asking you to try new routines. Get creative. Create a vision board about what you would like to achieve in life whether small or large goals, interest or short or long-term achievements. Take the time to nurture these ideas. Birthing new ideas and projects now will bring many blessings. Family matters, children and fertility are in focus now. Seek professional advice to maintain or provide a sustainable and healthy environment. If you are preparing to start or add to your family, your physical issues and emotional matters need to be addressed now. Okay, Cancer, your shadow aspect, resurrecting the past, rigidity, victim-based mindsets. Let's have a look at your affirmation for this autumn. I adapt lovingly to new environments. I nurture new life with love. Okay, let's say it again. I adapt lovingly to new environments. I nurture new life with love. One last time, I adapt lovingly to new environments. I nurture new life with love. Okay, let's have a look and um, see what the secret, the sacred secret landscape wants you to know. Fulfillment. Fulfillment is at hand. No matter what is occurring in your life, put your attention on what is splendid, pleasurable and luscious. Find bliss in the moment. Love fully, deeply, without hesitation. Cherish your friendships. Fill your life with people, experiences and places that give you delight. Let go of people and things that don't feel empowering 
and that drag your energy down. You no longer need to put the needs of others ahead of your own needs. If you've had any health issues, a ripe peach represents a return to better health. Savour your life with gusto and with grace. Experience and embrace life in all its permutations. If you want to conceive a baby or a new project or start a new relationship, this card is an excellent omen for a great outcome. It's a very nice reading, Hansa. You are getting really what you desire. Okay, there's no life here. The Lover's Oracle, the final card for your autumn reading. Look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. I believe you may be pregnant. Okay, Cancer. There's your reading. Leo, let's have a look at the sacred destiny and see what the story is for you guys this autumn. You have patience. Dense fog. Water represents our emotions, our feelings, our subconscious and our nocturnal dreams. When the water becomes condensed as fog, we can't see clearly. Fog occurs when the air is cooled to the point at which it cannot hold all the water vapour it contains. Thus it's con it condenses, thus it condenses water vapour where it is suspended in the air as fog. We can't see what's ahead, and things that look one way in the fog will look another way in the light. However, when you can't perceive what's on the horizon in life, your imagination can surge forward, and your sixth sense can be ignited. Okay, Leo, so your autumn's going to be appear to be um, foggy. Okay, but this is a good thing because when you can't perceive what's on the horizon in life, your imagination can surge forward and your sixth sense can be ignited. Let's have a look and see what your sacred spirit would like to say. Light codes, travel awaits you. Okay, your sixth sense here, your third eye. Card number 24. Travel awaits you. Share your mission and ideas with passion. Light codes are a language written in creation. Energy patterns, colours, sacred geometries, sound waves, light patterns and universal frequencies are all form of light codes. Working with light codes initiates deep transformation and transmutation, breaking old belief patterns, paradigms and autocratic systems. Light language is a universal form of communication. While human beings use speech, sign language and body language, other forms of communication are visible across different species. Animals and plants use their own language through sound and sense. Light codes are the human being's cosmic fingerprints. Light coding helps to bring change into the world. When individuals are aligned with their personal light codes, they can connect to higher realms and galactic origins and awaken others. Lighting up others enables them to fulfil their own life mission and personal path. Connecting to higher states of consciousness can access the realm of light languages. Discovering new symbols, incorporating tones and gestures through meditation are recommended to access your inner knowing, higher self and personal connection to spirit and celestial realms for insight, personal power, balance 
and well-being. Right now, you are on a mission. Humanitarian efforts, becoming earth conscious and choosing how you contribute to humanity and the planet and the planet is a focus now. A change in dietary habits, incorporating a more meat-free approach to your body, will leave you feeling lighter and proactive about your physical contribution. Like Leonardo da Vinci, revolutionising outdated processes, innovative ideas and creative pursuits are of interest now. Use your special talents and share your passion to inspire others to awaken their personal gifts and passions with purpose. If you are a light language channel, be sure to ground yourself according, accordingly after each transmission. Okay, Leo, the shadow aspect, headstrong, over-imaginative and opinionated. And your affirmation for this autumn, I awaken the dormant light within me, I am radiant. Okay, let's say it again. I awaken the dormant light within me. I am radiant. One last time. I awaken the dormant light within me. I am radiant. Okay, well said. <clears throat> let's see what um, your sacred landscape, your sacred landscape would like you to know. In dense fog, it's best to be quiet and still. For now, don't go forward. Wait. It's hard to see what lies ahead, and things may not be as they seem. Things that seem one way may in fact be completely different. Be patient, the truth will emerge. In this state of obscured visibility, your imagination and intuition can be sparked. If you can wait long enough, your dreams and inner yearnings can come to fruition. Listen to your intuition and pay attention to those seemingly random thoughts. Okay, let's finish your autumn reading with a card from the Lovers Oracle. Okay, Leo, let's get this message. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. There's your message, Leo. Virgo. Jasper's just walked back into the room. He's coming for a drink. Um, okay. I believe he, I can't remember. I think he comes through on Taurus's reading. Okay, Virgo. Let's have a look at your sacred destiny oracle and see what story would like to be told to you. You have inner peace. A lot of the cards that came out in the... I only pulled five cards earlier. And, uh, well, we've had inner peace come out. And patience. I can't remember if, if we've had any other duplications. Look at this. Duplicating energy. Inner peace. Let's listen to the story for you, Virgo. Lily Pond. Simply sitting next to a lily pond, watching the dragonflies soar overhead and looking at the luminous lily pads floating gently on the water while their translucent flowers open their petals to the heavens can fill one with a sense of profound and everlasting peace. Lilies grow in many countries and have been given a wide range of meanings. However, one Enduring image of the lily is the notion that out of the darkness and mud arises a thing of immense beauty and grace. No matter how, mu no matter how much darkness 
there has been in your life, you can rise into enlightenment and profound tranquility. So you're coming out of the darkness here, Virgo. Let's have a look and see what your sacred spirit uh, would like to tell you. Feels like you're getting yourself out of the mud now. You're stuck in the mud. Okay. Card number two, Ascended Masters, create open communication. These koi fish, I felt the energy of, well, it's, it's card number two. There's two koi fish here acting quite coy. It's time to open communication with others. Okay, Ascended Masters, create open communication with others and listen objectively. Throughout time, human beings have looked to spiritual teachers, gurus and philosophers for guidance and wisdom in their everyday lives. Regardless of religious background or affiliation, people gravitate towards those who have achieved levels of ascension on the physical plane. Philosophers Ascended masters, spiritual gurus and leaders enable those seeking wisdom or higher, state, or higher states of well-being and consciousness to connect to something bigger than themselves in this dimensional experience. While there are many ascended masters across the realm of ascension, they are still on differing levels of ascension. These inner planes assist those seeking wisdom connecting to specific energy such as the light rays <clears throat> such as the light rays when working with these frequencies or energies be sure to always invoke or request the aspects that exist within 100% pure light frequencies ascended masters still exist with a dual polarity and still have specific purposes and functions relating to the earthly realm Right now, you are required to connect to higher wisdom previously shared with a collective purpose. Daily rituals and routine are essential to establish stability through decision-making processes. Open your mind and vision to signs and symbols from the Ascended Master realm. Many masters are associated with animals and symbols. Pay attention to art and imagery that you may feel emotionally or strongly connected to now, as you are being guided divinely. Be consciously aware that the masters are working behind the scenes in your life to achieve a greater outcome. Karmic planning and your unique energetic blueprints require certain learning experiences and events for you to grow and, and expand your soul and spirit into a new state of awareness. Okay, Virgo, the shadow aspect, refusing to be open to new experiences or outcomes and your affirmation for this autumn. I am a clear channel of divine knowledge. I share this wisdom with compassion and confidence. Okay, let's say it again. I am a clear channel of divine knowledge I share this wisdom with compassion and confidence. One more time. I am a clear channel of divine knowledge. I share this wisdom with compassion and confidence. And so it is. Let's finish. Oh, we need to go back to, sorry, we're not quite done yet, are we? Let's go back to the inner peace and see what the sacred landscape wants you to know, Virgo. Inner peace is your birthright. Tranquility occurs when you realise that your life is unfolding according to divine planning. Serenity isn't something you have worked for or searched for. Let me repeat that. Serenity isn't something you have to work for or search for. It already exists within you. To find this inner peace, simplify your life. Spend time in nature and listen to the message of your soul. True peace transcends fear and connects, connects you intimately to the Creator. Breathe deeply and fully, knowing that all is well. <clears throat> okay, 
I'm stumbling over my words here. Virgo. Let's finish with a lover's oracle. Romance, Cupid's arrow strikes. There is two of you on here and I feel very much as if, what did I say here? You're duplicating each other. Okay. So you're both ascended masters. Okay, there's your reading, Leo. Virgo, no mistakes. This comes in with a Leo reading. Okay, right, let's move on. Libra, Sacred Destiny Oracle, let's see what card wants to come out and what story for this autumn for you, Libra. You have Delight, it's another one that was from this morning's reading. <clears throat> Got another duplication here, okay, Delight. Let's listen to the story. Sparrows in spring grass. The sparrow gains its power from its numbers. In clusters, sparrows eat and forage, and predators are distracted and deterred, even intimidated by their numbers. Security and joy in numbers is a lesson of the sparrow. Within their community, sparrows are always busy living life fully. Many cultures align to the meaning of the sparrow with joy and in the Middle Ages, the sparrow was thought to relieve suffering, help one triumph over hardships and bring joy. Well, we're talking to Leo, that's the justice card. That's what that represents. Okay, let's have a look at your sacred spirit and the message that wants to come forth. Okay, but well that didn't take long. You've got mindful wisdom, create inner harmony. This time we have an owl. Card number 28. Create inner harmony, silence your inner critic. Mindfulness is a simple act of being present in each moment, but for most people it is not always achievable during daily life. Complications of employment, relationships, children, social activities and career choices can all seem to distract us from achieving this goal. It is only when you choose to become present that you receive clarity of consciousness, peace of mind and objective understanding surrounding current issues. The owl is a representation of inner knowing and mindfulness, patiently and carefully monitoring their surroundings, followed by clear and direct action. You may be feeling confused about people's actions, but like the owl, we must observe our surroundings to the best of our ability to see the real meaning of a person's actions or the origin of specific issues. Now is the time to journey inwards to access your inner knowing and personal wisdom through mindful practice to create a homeostasis, an equilibrium in your heart and mind. Bring yourself back to a heart space where you can approach anything with calmness and clarity. I hope I pronounced that word right, homeostasis. Okay, let's have a let's not bypass these words. Um, let me check out homeostasis. 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 The tendency 
towards a relatively stable equilibrium between interdependent elements, especially as maintained by psychological processes. Okay. Homeostasis. So now is the time to journey inwards to ac access your inner knowing and personal wisdom through mindful practice to create a homeostasis and equilibrium in your heart and mind. Bring yourself back to a heart space where you can approach anything with calmness and clarity. Right now, place yourself of value. When the owl appears in your life, it encourages you to use strong intu intuition. So right now, place yourself of value. When the owl appears in your life, it, enc it encourages you to use strong intuition to gain wisdom about matters that you shouldn't ignore. More importantly, self-worth and confidence. Tolerance can be achieved through objectivity and inner peace. Acknowledging all our experiences so we can be objective with our emotional and mental processes. Instead of reacting immediately out of anger, mindfulness allows you to be aware of this anger, helping you realise why you are angry and then process the circumstances surrounding this emotion. This new form of emotional intelligence allows you to physically react using a positive process and method that is beneficial to you and others while understanding the reasoning behind their behaviours. Okay, the shadow aspect, uh, Libra, stubbornness, impatience, forgetfulness and faultlessness. And your affirmation for this autumn, I react sensitively to others as I respect my personal boundaries. Let's say it again. I react sensitively to others as I respect my personal boundaries. One last time. I react sensitively to others as I respect my personal boundaries. That sounds better. Okay, let's go back to the delight card and uh, listen to what the sacred landscape wants you to know. Delight is expanding in your life. Clap your hands with glee. Spend time with others. Go to a community gathering, host a party. The joy you experience will give birth to immense create creativity and your life will blossom. Share your happiness and elation with others and it will grow by leaps and bounds. This isn't the time to be serious or buckle down and get to work. This is a time to be spontaneous and madcap. Do not make hard and fast commitments. Don't sign any legal documents or make any pledges right now. Don't make any promises or you might not be able to keep them. Give yourself permission to have fun. Lots of fun. Especially in community with others. Okay. Libra, I feel like it's time for you to get back out there. And um, I feel that there might be an annoyance around you regarding other people in your environment. Let's um, finish this reading with... A lover's oracle card. Time. You were trying too hard. Give it time. Okay, so I do feel the energy of maybe a quarrel here. <clears throat> Give it time. There you have it, Libra. Scorpio, what's going on with you guys this autumn? Let's have a look into Sacred Destiny Oracle. You might be, are you losing your hair? <laughs> I found just, I don't know, like a clump of hair on the table. Um, okay, Scorpio, let's have a look. What's the story that's wanting to be told? Success.
Successful Scorpio. Do you like the sound of that? Tropical Jungle. Tropical jungles are some of the richest and most successful habitats on our planet. They have incredible diversity, a multitude of plant varieties and animal inhabitants. They are dense with life force that is rapidly growing and rapidly changing. The lushness of their vegetation is essential to the ecological health of the earth. In many ways, the, the success of the planet depends on the rainforest. These areas are called the lungs of the planet. The plants absorb carbon dioxide, produce oxygen and help reduce the impact of worldwide, worldwide climate change. In addition, thousands of plants and animal species that may have medical properties have yet to be discovered. So I'm feeling maybe a slight health issue here. Um, of the past, I believe, it will be a thing of the past because I'm feeling like the tightness in my lungs. Okay, and it spoke about that. Well, let's have a look and see what your sacred spirit would like you to know. Oh, I can, all I'm singing in my mind is take my breath away and I felt like I was going to have my breath taken away by how successful you are Scorpio you have emotional challenges okay card number 13 resolve the issue like I said whatever this challenge is it's emotional it's affecting your health uh, it's time to resolve the issue very dark, your card, Scorpio. <laughs> the energy of would we expect anything less from a Scorpio? Well, apparently you're like this, uh, this, this sure thing. It's um, sure thing. You make my heart sing. So you're not really wild, but you're definitely like a sure thing. You make everything groove it. Sure thing. I think I love you. Okay. Have you got song out of me, Scorpio? Okay. So your cards are dark, but we're kind of expect expecting you to be bright. Look what I've opened up to the card before. That's what's coming for you, Scorpio. Let's have a look at this. You need to resolve the issue. Emotional challenges, express yourself clearly and resolve the issue. It is not uncommon for individuals to experience regular emotional challenges. A part of the human experience is to go through different stages of the emotional will, from love, joy and happiness to grief, sadness and betrayal. Not all emotions can be conveyed at once, and therefore a process of understanding our current and past feelings to move forward with an issue or challenge is essential. We can't always be light and fluffy. We must acknowledge feelings such as anger or bitterness. Refusing to acknowledge personal anger, resentment or mistreatment towards yourself will only leave you feeling depressed, with your self-worth being sacrificed just to please others. Right now, you are experiencing an emotional challenge. You may be feeling overwhelmed, have had your trust broken or felt betrayed from people close to you. You may have been hurt by others, either physically or emotionally. Know that you have the resilience and strength you need within to overcome this challenge in life. This is a temporary phase. I feel this is what's on the cards for you this autumn so best to be prepared forewarned okay this is a temporary phase you must acknowledge your emotions now if you want to move forward quickly it is important to remember not to dwell on events for too long as they can keep you stuck and stagnant in life verbal confrontations are possible now 
attempt meditation to remove the emotional charge out of the conversation so all parties can be heard and express themselves equally. I said attempt meditation, it says attempt mediation to remove the emotional charge out of the conversation so all parties can be heard and express themselves equally. In bold writing here, remember you can only heal something you choose to acknowledge. If you have experienced a traumatic event or continued cycles of emotional triggers, please seek a suitable professional that can help you unpack this emotional baggage and get to the real cause of the issue. <clears throat> Scorpio, it looks like you may have a tough autumn on your hands. But you can handle this. Let's look at your shadow aspect. Fear in display and emotion. Self-sabotage and denial. Okay, your affirmation for autumn. I acknowledge and express my emotions with ease and grace. Let's say it again. I acknowledge and express my emotions with ease and grace. One last time. I acknowledge and express my emotions with ease and grace. Let's go back to the success card here, Scorpio. See what the sacred landscape wants you to know. Satisfaction, contentment and fulfilment are at hand. Success is waiting to expand in your life. Be ready to accept and embrace this success for it might occur rapidly. All is possible. The gates of triumph are waiting to open. Being in a state of gratitude for all the small successes in your life will give birth to, to larger ones. I'm to repeat that. Being in a state of gratitude for all the small successes in your life will give birth to larger ones. Your satisfaction will come in many forms and from many areas of life. Celebrate it all and breathe it all in, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant. This is an excellent time to make commitments, sign contracts and make deals. Good fortune will ensue. Okay, let's have a look and see what the Lovers Oracle would like to say for you. This is a temporary phase, Scorpio, so remember this. Okay. Secret admirer, someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. You already know this though, don't you Scorpio? Okay, there's your reading for this autumn. Sagittarius. Let's have a look at your sacred destiny story for this autumn. Voyage. Where are you off to? Who are you taking with you? We're going on a trip in our favourite rocket ship. Zooming through the sky, little Einsteins, climb aboard, get ready to explore. You're going exploring this uh, autumn time, Sagittarius. Humpback whale. Okay, humpback whales make the longest journey of any mammal. They travel 14,000 miles, which is 22,000 kilometres every year. They spend the summer months near polar regions and in the winter they journey towards the equator to tropical waters. So you might just have to wait a bit longer. If it's not the autumn time, it's coming soon, it'll be in the winter. Okay. Because I felt when it said humpback as if like you've had the hump because you haven't been able to travel, it's coming. Okay, you're going to be going on a voyage very soon. So they spend the summer months near polar regions 
and in the winter they journeyed towards the equator to tropical waters. Among some native tribes, whales are considered to be protectors of travellers and journeyers, as well as guardians of the sea. This card indicates that no matter what your journey is and where it takes you, you have protection at your side. Okay, won't be long then. Let's have a look and see what your sacred spirit would like you to know. Spirit messages, observe limitations. Okay, I've got a very, very scratchy foot, um, well, ankle, uh, on my left ankle. We're itching. Are we itching to get away if there have been limitations here? Well, you can observe how they're going to be lifted soon. 34. Observe limitations, reflect and adapt to your circumstances. The beautiful hovering hummingbird is a positive animal totem. Its simplicity and seemingly effort, effortless glide across flower gardens reminds us to take things slowly. Often believed to float between realms, hummingbirds are light bringers. Their healing hum encourages you to open your heart to receive love in your life. The hummingbird can travel large distances despite its small size and has the ability to fly backwards reminding us that no matter where we are in life, we can always take a few steps back and try again. Being willing to step back and see things differently in order to take in the sweetness of life is all a part of the hummingbird's blessing. The hovering wings of the hummingbird move in an infinite loop, the figure eight pattern, the symbol defined as an unending sequence this powerful symbol represents endlessness, the infinite life of the spirit. Right now you have spirit guiding you. There are many messages around you that are waiting to be acknowledged. Pay attention to specific encounters as these special meetings will bring confirmation from the spirit realm. Know that right now you are being visited by past loved ones. They are asking you to be observant of the signs they are sending you on a daily basis. Be aware of these moments as your mind wanders to nostalgic memories from your past. You may be visited by loved ones while you are lucid dreaming. Keep a handy journal next to your sleeping space so you can record these moments immediately. Please acknowledge these signs and communication with love and gratitude as it takes a great deal of energy for these special encounters. The beautiful hum of the hummingbird inspires magic and joy to those that witness these joyful encounters. If you witness the flight of a hummingbird, know that luck and, po luck and positivity is on its way. Okay, Sagittarius, the shadow aspect. Creating complications over analytical. And your affirmation for autumn? I am ready to receive confirmation from my spiritual team now. Let's say it again. I am ready to receive confirmation from my spiritual team now. One more time. I am ready to receive confirmation from my spiritual team now. Let's see what the sacred landscape would like to say to you. Get ready. You are, you are about to embark on a journey. It might be an inner sojourn or an outer voyage to a distant land. It might be a project or idea that is coming to life. But most certainly, you are an intrepid, intrepid traveller sailing forth into the unknown. Where do you want to go? What have you always wanted to, to do or be? This is the time to make it happen. Get prepared. Have a clear vision of what you want to experience, but also be prepared for the unexpected. That is part of the exhilaration of being a traveller. Remember to enjoy the journey as much as reaching the destination. 
exciting times, Sagittarius. Let's finish your reading with a lover's oracle. Okay, a couple of messages. It's like, budge up. Come on. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Follow it with faith because you are safe and protected. On your travels. Okay. Wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. You are going to know when it's safe for you to travel. Okay, Sagittarius, there it is. There's your autumn reading. Capricorn. Capricorn, let's look at your sacred destiny. See what story wants to be told to you. The cards feel nice and light. Embracing. Okay, let's have a look at the story, Capricorn. Embracing. What are we embracing? Floodplains. A floodplain is a naturally occurring phenomenon in which the land adjacent to a river floods out to far banks of the surrounding land during times of high water. Land that is normally dry may be underwater for a period of time. When this occurs, silt, sand and nutrients are deposited. For this reason, floodplains are often areas of great fertility as well as rich ecosystems. They are excellent areas for lush, abundant crops. It is a natural occurrence that allows life in all areas to thrive. Okay, what's going on Capricorn? Let's have a look and see what your sacred spirit would like to tell you. Um, cosmic ancestors, voice your concerns. Card number 10. Learn from those who have walked before you and voice your concerns. Universal conscious coexist extends beyond millions. Let me repeat that. Universal conscious coexistence extends beyond millions of years. Our very DNA has evolved over thousands of years and is continuing to do so. Our genetic lineage or origins are often brought into question. It is hard to refute the possibility of life on other planets far beyond our own star system and galaxy, given the science and astrological evidence we already understand historically about universal astronauts. You may feel like you are a starseed, disassociated from others, as they cannot comprehend how precious life is, planetary evolution or conscious connection with all living beings. You may have fell into silent pain or be a passionate activist, your heart breaking over the material corruption of humanity and that no one is listening to the collective cry of the planet, the life of all, in of all inhabitants or the global impact of ego-based leadership. In absolute truth, we are we all are star seeds, as our personal cosmic origins are mixed within our DNA and consciousness. The very existence of life on planets beyond our common understanding or awareness is evidentiary. After all, you are currently existing within the universe as we know it, on a beautiful planet called Earth. Right now, you must learn from those who have walked before you, 
those who have already shone a light on injustices require you to evolve and awaken into a passionate contributor. Now is the time to stand up and be counted. Life beyond our beautiful planet, beyond our earthly incarnations, is forever written among time and space and is available to us within the records of the Akashic Temple. You may feel connected to star energy or be aligned with a more cosmic understanding of the universe than with others. Call upon the energy of 100% pure light galactic guides, masters or teachers to assist you in understanding your personal connection. Okay, Capricorn, your shadow aspect, materialistic, ego-driven, narcissism and dishonesty. And your affirmation for autumn? I continuously evolve with conscious action. Let's say it again. I continuously evolve with conscious action. One last time. I continuously evolve with conscious action. Let's have a look at what the sacred landscape would like you to know. Sometimes life overflows with emotions which can feel uncomfortable. However, the ensuring result of this, of this discomfort can be of great value, perhaps arising from an unseen or unknown source. You get this card when emotions are seemingly overflowing or not flowing at all. Cherish the overflow of emotions and embrace the times that seem murky for your inner floodplains are being replenished. And as a result, there will be great spiritual and physical expansion. Embrace all your emotions. When you do so, greater prosperity and fertility will flow into your life. Alternatively, if your emotions have been blocked, this is a time to explore and experience them. You are embracing your emotions, Capricorn. Well, let's leave your reading with a lover's oracle. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Okay, Capricorn, there's your reading. Aquarius. Let's have a look at your sacred destiny story for autumn. I want to say, let's see what's on the cards for you. Okay, potential. Nice energy. Potential is on the cards for you. Well, let's listen to a story first. Tell us about potential. Volcano at rest. Volcanoes erupt in places where the earth's plates meet and where there are cracks through which lava emerges, either explosively or by flowing more slowly down a cinder cone. Even when a, voca even when a volcano is at rest, there is always the possibility of a huge eruption. There is the potential of great power. There are very few things on this planet more commanding than an erupting volcano. The archetypal personality of a volcano is one of a wild, unpredictable and formidable energy. Well, let's have a look and see what your sacred spirit would like you to know regarding this energy, uh, Aquarius. Spiritual evolution, set your heart free. Card number 35. Forgiveness and compassion is needed now. Set your heart free. 
there is this potential here, I, I'm feeling Aquarius, that you could explode, um, you're a bit unpredictable, you can, uh, I feel, feeling as if you can control this, it's a temper, okay, it could explode, erupt, um, so forgiveness and compassion is needed now, set your heart free, expansion goes together with spiritual evolution, without the process of expansion, one cannot evolve spiritually. Expanding the heart and mind allows you to live a more wholesome and loving life with compassion, tolerance and acceptance. There is no denying that learning through life experiences, good and bad experiences alike, encourages soul growth on a positive level. Like a caterpillar to butterfly, individuals must go through their own transformations if they wish to excel, achieve or move forward in life. Seeking something better in the future requires a little faith in yourself. You can't always have everything straight away. Long-lasting success takes time to build. Evolving the spirit requires an individual to empty their spiritual backpack, taking out and removing experiences that are holding you back in life healing past issues, addressing karmic imbalances and creating a balanced mind and body of all parts of this process. Evolving the spirit takes time. It is a gradual process in which you need to do the work on yourself to achieve long-lasting effects. Right now, forgiveness is required if you wish to move forward in life. Sometimes you must... You Sometimes... You must accept an apology you know you may never receive. Forgiveness will set your heart free from an invisible control that has been existent over this situation. Forgiveness does not mean you will forget what has occurred. It means that you can live without it controlling your life any longer. Remove any past emotional and physical ties that are no longer serving you in the here and now with love and gratitude. For that has brought you to this place in life where you are ready to change and let go of the past. Open your heart to your soul's calling. Your soul is calling you to be free. <clears throat> okay, struggling with the words here. Open your heart to your soul's calling. Your soul is calling you to be free. The shadow aspect, Aquarius, stagnation, condemnation, repetition. Your affirmation for this autumn. As my love and experience grows, the consciousness of my spirit evolves. Let's say it again. As my love and experience grows, the consciousness of my spirit evolves. One more time. As my love and experience grows, the consciousness of my spirit evolves. Let's go back to this potential card and see what the sacred landscape wants you to know. This card represents, doesn't say that, it said this card, this card, mm, this card, <laughs> this card appears when you are ready to activate your potential and step into your strength. This is a time to activate those gifts that you had that you've had on the back burner in your life. You have incredible untapped potential. This is a time to allow it to flow. An inner wellspring of power is emerging. You have a profound spiritual power that is deep within you. Do not doubt your great authority and capabilities. A dormant volcano might indicate that you have uncomfortable emotions that you are repressing or keeping inside, thus creating emotional stress and inner pressure. It can also mean that you are on the verge of a great expansion of energy and life force. Okay, let's finish your reading with a lover's oracle, Aquarius.
Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. Okay, Aquarius, there's your reading. Pisces. The final star sign. For their ascension reading for this autumn. Let's have a look at what store let's have a look at what story wants to come out for you, Pisces. You have a standstill here. You have a standstill. Okay. You're not at a standstill, you have a standstill. You've been taking it all in, waiting patiently for your turn. Let's have a look. Feels like a nice energy. Uh, Pisces, it's coming through you. Swamp lands. A swamp is a low-lying area with woody plants, shrubs and trees, where water collects and saturates the ground. During rainy seasons, swamp lands become overwhelmed with water. The edge of the swamp is often a quagmire of mud and silt. But an abundance of plants and swamp insects dwell there. Because of the sticky nature of the mud, it is often impossible to walk through swamplands. Even trying to manoeuvre with a boat can be difficult and treacherous because of the dense vegetation. However, there is great value in swamplands. They act as natural flood control, as runoff can be temporarily stored in their basins. They keep the land around them from washing away. Lush, vegeta lush vegetation provides a haven for nesting birds and waterfowl, as well as habitat to mammals such as beaver. Freshwater swamps near the tigeress and the euphronites Euphor <laughs> rivers in the Middle East are part of the Fertile Crescent and contributed to the fertility of the land for the earliest humans. Okay, well let's have a look and see what your sacred spirit is trying to tell you. If I can read the words correctly, okay. But we're giving it a good go here. I actually thought you had two cards. No one, else has, no one else has had two cards. You haven't. you just got the one, but it's feeling a little thick. Okay, third eye vision. Reclaim your mind. Card number 36. Interesting, it comes after spiritual evolution. So I'm not sure whether or not you're at a standstill or you've had a, you have a standstill. Feeling a little bit of the... Um, the energy before, your card number 36, 35 was spiritual evolution that Aquarius just had. Okay. So it's kind of like it's not hard for me to find the page because it's the reading before or the reading that maybe you need to listen to. I did feel the energy you've just been listening. So, um, and they do say that we always remember the first thing that someone said and the last thing that someone said. So Aquarius' reading is going to be like kind of uh, on your mind. Okay, well, third eye vision. Liberate your vulnerability. Reclaim your mind. The third eye chakra is located along the brow line with its axis between its axis point between the eyes. Every individual has a third eye, but not all choose to open. In ancient times and across different cultures, the third eye was an asset. The ancient Egyptians, Greeks and Hindus all viewed the third eye and pineal, pineal gland, pineal, pineal gland, gland? <laughs> as a gateway to the heavens. 
It's torture at times. Pineal gland as a gateway to the heavens, expanding consciousness and higher wisdom. Known in Sanskrit as Ajna, its meaning is command and perceiving. This multidimensional door allows individual glimpses into different realms, as well as remote viewing, distant healing, visionary experiences and energetic practices. Well, if you've listened to all the other readings, then I take my hat off to you, because um, that's kind of like I mentioned, you're the last of the star signs. And I felt the energy, you've just been listening to all of the messages. Okay, so this multidimensional door allows individuals glimpses into different realms, as well as remote viewing, distant healing, visionary experiences and energetic practices. Using third eye vision requires careful practice. Psychic debris, energetic distortions and imbalanced frequencies can stick to the third eye chakra and to an individual's aura and energy bodies and this can leave you with emotional disturbance, insomnia or nightmares, a negative outlook on life or mysterious physical aches, pains or illnesses. And also I just want you to be aware that if you've also repeated all of the affirmations which for some reason I've repeated three times for each star sign. So we're looking at you know 36 um, strong affirmative um, messages have been sent out, have been declared uh, just through this one reading. That does uh, that does the trick. <clears throat> Currently, you may be feeling forgetful, moody, and extremely sensitive to smells, lights, and tastes. Visual stimulation is overpowering. Now is the time to reclaim your mind. Satisfy your needs first, instead of people pleasing. Right now feelings of vulnerability will rise to the surface. Fear of self-exposure and judgement will influence your current relationships. Try to avoid crowds and busy places as collective mental energy will influence your state of mind. Continually trying to protect yourself from harsh criticism and personal judgments will keep you in a defensive mindset and influence your decision making. Intuitively, don't rush into a third eye experience. Take it slow and seek a suitable teacher to avoid spiritual risks. If you wish to intensify or gain third eye visions more regularly, Activate and decalcify your pineal gland through visualised meditation. The shadow aspect, Pisces, delusion, fictitious, studious, self-sacrificing. And your affirmation for this autumn, I see clearly and accurately through my mind's eye. Let's repeat it again. I see clearly and accurately through my mind's eye. One more time. I see clearly and accurately through my mind's eye. Let's go back to what the sacred spirit would like you to know. If it feels that some areas of your life have slowed down or even come to a standstill, you are right. Something is not progressing. Even if it seems that things are flowing, Look beneath the surface, perhaps something is immovable. The first step to becoming unstuck is to acknowledge where you are. The soul loves the truth. In life you can either say, there are no weeds, there are no weeds. Or you can notice the weeds and begin pulling them out. Notice what isn't working in your life and then take slow, steady steps to unblock the barriers. In nature, when one is being sucked into mud, the worst thing to do is struggle. The best thing to do is slowly and carefully 
one step at a time, extricate yourself. Let's leave with a, um, a lover's oracle for you, Pisces. Your energy feels tired. Okay. It is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. And there is your reading for Autumn, Pisces. Guys, if you would like a collective, a final message, I'm going to look at the bottom of the decks. Let's see what the collective message is regarding this autumn time. The Sacred Destiny would like us all to know about openness. Secrets of the Moon. The cycles of the moon affect every aspect of our life. The cyclical magnetic pull regulates the tides as it acts on our planet's waters. The moon even affects the monthly cycles of women. It's not an accident that a woman's cycle and the cycle of the moon are approximately the same amount of time. In native cultures, when women lived in nature, it was not uncommon for them to menstruate during the new moon and ovulate around the full moon. It was believed that menstruation was the time that a woman had to be still, put her everyday labours aside and renew. For all people, the dark of the moon was a time to incubate ideas, watch nocturnal dreams for signs and be still. In modern life, we as a culture don't honour these natural cycles often enough and as a result our lives are usually bereft of this important time of rejuvenation. The Sacred Landscape wants you to know. When you receive this card, be open to receiving signs. Be still, do nothing, be open, breathe, Relax completely and thoroughly. Incubate your dreams for the future. If you are trying to make a decision, take the time to watch for signs and listen to the whispers of the universe. Watch your dreams for messages regarding the situation. Become the sacred watcher. Observe life as it unfolds rather than becoming engaged in it. Be open to what the universe has in store for you. Be receptive to messages from your soul. This card can also be the bringer of sacred wonders into your life. Miracles can show up in ways you didn't expect. The sacred spirit would like us all to know about the awakened spirit, desire to change. Card number four, helping others, desire to change. An awakened spirit is much like Alice in Wonderland once you have travelled down the rabbit hole, you can never go back to what you knew before. You become forever changed by your new experience. New information and experiences will change you at your very core. You become enlightened with sacred connection, resulting in physical, spiritual and emotional changes. 
You may be feeling lost and confused. You may be feeling lost and confused about your life, relationships, family or social connections, including your employment. This is a time when making meaningful experiences is a priority as you can no longer fathom wasting time on greedy, materialistic or ego-based principles. The question of why comes to the forefront of almost every experience as you search for meaning and validity for your soul's experience here on earth. Seeing through the industrial machine of society, you become more aware of people's unhappiness and lack of passion, ethics and integrity. At this moment, understanding who you are, the real you, beyond what you have been conditioned to believe by societal norms, family, school or institutions, becomes a dominant feature in your life. Right now your spirit seeks freedom, confined by restrictive interactions and outdated ideals. It's important to understand the connection between your physical body and spiritual self. This deep connection is the soul's expanding awareness into seeing a broader and bigger picture in life. Health challenges can occur now as you go through this phase of spiritual improvement. Growing impatience with materialistic people, social media and news programmes continually highlight the world's imbalance of peace and harmony. Humanitarian efforts are supported now, donating time, effort and energy into community programmes or groups and implementing healthy and greener alternatives into your life will bring you new opportunities creating a supportive, healthier lifestyle. Okay, let's have a look at the shadow aspect of the collective. Authoritarian. Authoritarian. Authoritarian communication, inconsiderate and social disconnection. And the affirmation for the collective for this autumn, I am free to follow the call of my heart with purpose, with love and clarity. Let's say it again. I am free to follow the call of my heart with purpose, with love and clarity. One last time. I am free to follow the call of my heart with purpose, with love and clarity. And the bottom of the lover's oracle, sacred union. Honour and treasure your relationship. Or it is truly sacred. How beautiful. Honour and treasure your relationship, for it is truly sacred. Okay, guys, we're going to leave it there. I will catch up with you all soon. Until then, take care, much love. Bye for now.